this is going to be about the January 6th committee and the questions maybe they're going to ask. So I hope that you like the video. If you do, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Thank you very, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So, saw some stuff on CNN. I thought, well, let's do a, uh, pull some cards on that. So just a, a little bit here, uh, maybe a paragraph or so, and then we'll pull cards and see what this January 6th committee is going to do. Straight out of the headlines from CNN. But J the January 6th committee will ask phone companies, the tech giants, to preserve uh, records of uh, GOP Congress people and number 45, plus members of his family, who played some role in the Stop the Steal uh, rally uh, that uh, preluded the uh, Capitol uh, insurrection. The records request would signal the witnesses, perhaps, that they plan to call later. You know, you would think so. And the committee does have subpoena power, but that would lead to um, surely lengthy uh, legal uh, battles. But the names are right here. So the evolving list includes, of course, number 45 plus 16 others. So far, that's 11 Republicans. Here we go. Lauren uh, Bobert of Colorado, Ma Marjorie Taylor Greene and Jody Heiss of Georgia, uh, Jim Jordan of Ohio, Andy Biggs, and Paul Gosar of, Al of uh, Arizona, uh, Mo Brooks of Alabama, Madison Cawthorn of North Carolina, Mark. Matt Gates of Florida, and uh, Louis Gomert of Texas, and Scott Perry of Pennsylvania. I think I didn't put enough fingers up, but that figures. Also, five of Trump's family and some of their partners, that's Ivanka, um, and strangely not uh, Jared, but Ivanka, uh, Donald Trump Jr., and his girlfriend, Kimberly Guilfoyle, and then plus Eric and wife, uh, Lara Trump. So that's the list that I see so far. So let's pull some cards on that and see what the uh, what the consequences will be. So this impressionist tarot, these cards are everything that I've ever wanted in a set of cards except for the quality. And I'll tell you what I mean. The um, box is fantastic. It's a beautiful box. If you gave this as a gift or if you got it as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, somebody really put some thought into what they were uh, giving me. And the guidebook is very useful. It's a full color guidebook with very thoughtful uh, ideas as to the divination of the cards. And uh, the uh, the creators of this are Corrine Kenner and the artwork by Arturo Pica. And so what they've done is they've actually taken impressionists um, that you will know of and, uh, and that you will see art in galleries and um, and use their art to make these cards and and so what they've they've taken the actual artwork um, and sometimes uh, Arturo Pica has added elements to the original art to help in the divination or he may have blended a couple of uh, pieces of art uh, from one or two or uh, artists to uh, get to this um, this work here but they're gorgeous to use I love them and uh, I feel like this is just a good way to get the cards mixed up without creating too much damage to them. I mean, some folks like to kind of really handle the cards and bend them and break them you know, to uh, make them theirs. That's just not what I like to do. Uh, nothing wrong with that if that's what you like to do. But uh, this Impressionist Tarot, I'm so happy with these cards. Okay, so what in the world... Um, is going to happen uh, with this January 6th committee. So the question uh, will be, so they're going to have subpoena power to get the records, but if people start uh, resisting, but that's a lot of people for everyone to resist is interesting. I can see the Republicans all getting together. Well, yeah, I can see the Trumps getting together too. So if everybody resists and doesn't provide the records, uh, are they willing to put some teeth behind it? So let's ask that. Will the select committee... Um, put teeth behind their request, not just the subpoenas, but you know, they have the ability to actually uh, imprison people. They can jail people. There's an office right there or a space, I should say, right there, uh, separate uh, that they can put people in. I understand. I think I'm not wrong. So would they actually jail people who didn't provide uh, the records? I think they have to put a stop to people resisting the subpoena from Congress.
So that's the first question. Uh, will they actually put these people in jail? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Will they put these people in jail? That was very interesting. So the, the January 6th committee, will they actually arrest people if they don't provide the information? Will the January 6th committee arrest anyone if they don't provide the information? Signifier for that is the Ace of Cups. That's a great big offer of compassion. Then uh, the challenge to that are long-term plans. Yeah. So they, all, they, they may show them some compassion, but the challenge of this is the long-term situation it could cause. Okay, so we know that. The basis of this reading then is, okay, this is a knight of swords, so they're going to enforce, they're going to enforce the rules. This knight is the enforcer of uh, the rules of justice, the law. The past of this reading then is the ten of swords. And uh, that, um, the ten of swords is, you know, really getting stabbed in the back. So I'm going to say, yeah, they're going to enforce it. The sky of this reading Okay, is the uh, conflict that it's going to cause uh, all these people are trying to resist. And then the likely outcome, wow, is the Queen of Swords. Look at that. Yeah, this has to be Pelosi. She'll go as far as she has to go, I think. So what can be the next part of this question or another part of this question? Well, let's close this up all together and ask about um, the members of Congress and then the Trump uh Kids. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So, will there be members of Congress? This will be just uh, three cards. Members of Congress who uh, are jailed. I'm gonna say it. Will there be members of Congress actually arrested? Members of Congress actually arrested. Three cards. Members of Congress, will there be members of Congress actually arrested? Let's see. Semi Congress fire card for that is okay. This is the uh, nine nine of, of wands. Nine of wands is really being embattled. It's interesting that they show it here in this boat, which we typically think of as moving out of troubled water with the six of swords. But the Nine of Wands really being battled. Um, the, the middle card for that is the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, really getting to the heart of it. And then the final outcome is the Five, Six, Seven. So that's the Chariot to get it done quickly. So, wow, what does that mean? So we've got first card to come out is will they uh, will members of Congress. Uh, be enforced. Uh, the the nine of wands is telling us that they will be uh, embattled, and uh, the queen of pentacles uh, represents um, Congress, uh, Pelosi, the committee, the committee, and they will move quickly to get something done. So even though they will be embattled, there will be a lot of issues. They will move quickly to get it done. <laughs> it's interesting. So I think that says yes, they will arrest somebody if they have to. And what about the Trump kids? Will they do the same for the Trump kids? Will they enforce that with penalties? Or I don't know if they can give penalties, but will they enforce it to make those Trump kids give up their records? Wow. But it's the telecommunications company that are going to do it. That's another three cards. Two, three. So this is going to be enforcement against the Trump kids' person. Their persons. Uh, the first card for that is the six of swords I just spoke about moving out of troubled water and that's what this is about the center card for that again is a queen of wands look at that and then the final card for that is the two of wands making a deal these are uh, like lovers but yeah this is making a deal so yeah in order to move out of troubled water uh, the Senate committee will enforce it and they'll come to some kind of a deal interesting that's for the Trump kids now Trump himself. Will they get records from Trump himself? But I gotta tell you, I gotta think that's not that valuable. But will they get records from Trump himself? Three cards. One, two, and three. Will they get records from Trump himself? You know, telecommunications records. 
first card right off the bat is the uh, Ace of Wands. That's a great big movement. This is the ah the Two of Pentacles. You know, kind of weighing things out. And then the final card is uh, the Chariot again. So yeah, there will be some sort of a big plan. And they'll have to decide if it's worth it to put this into motion. If they do, they'll do it rapidly. That's what I see there. And then for the final big question, will the January 6th committee um, find someone guilty? I don't know what that even looks like, but will that January 6th committee find someone guilty? Six cards. One, two three, four, five, and six. Will the January 6th committee find someone guilty? Let's see. Signifier for that is the five, six, seven, eight. Eight. What is the eight? With the major arcana. Okay, I need to calm down. This I'm not sure of. The Major Arcana, what is number eight? I'm going to have to look on my, my cheat sheet. Chariot. That's not the chariot. <coughs> oh, that's 13. This is death. Oh, my gosh. This is death. 13 is death. So, yeah, they will. Wow. Um, the challenge to that is the ten of uh, coins. Oh, wow. Family. Ten of coins is family. Um, the basis of this is, oh my God, the fool. So starting on a new journey, uh, this has to be Trump. Uh, the past of this is uh, the Knight of Coin. So that is the uh, the, the January 6th committee. And this knight uh, carries a lot of value. The sky of this is uh, 10, 15, 16, 17. This is Starry Night, I think. 18. 18 is... Yeah, that's the a starry night. I'm not sure what that means, but the um, the three of cups are celebrations. So yeah, yeah, they will find some people. Some people, uh, they'll shine light on the issue. Oh my gosh! Wow. Okay, four more cards just to finish it out. The um, secrets being revealed. This is uh, the Wheel of Fortune. So those secrets uh, are depending on someone's luck. This is holding on to the value that they found. And this is 14. Ah, temperance. Really having to balance it all out. But I want to know, will they actually prosecute somebody? Partnerships. Ah, this is the hermit shining a light on the truth. Wow. And nightmares. So they will cause nightmares for someone. That's amazing. Well, that was very interesting. So that was a long uh, bunch of stuff there. Well, there's nothing for me to recap on except that, uh, yeah, everybody's going to be get in trouble and stay in trouble. And some people are going to pay for it uh, big time. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.